Hello students, in the previous module you were in a room where a boy was simply switching on and off that switch, yes class and, and that was nothing but introduction to logic. Here we are going to advance our knowledge in logic, we are going to learn about closed sentences and open sentences, yes ready for that. Here we have some sentences in front of you and the first one comes, every triangle has three sides. Yes class, if I ask about that whether it's true or false, what will you say? Obviously each triangle has three sides and that simply means the given sentence is a true sentence. Yes class, now here if I get you another example, three is an even number. Now if I ask you, is it actually an even number? What will you say? No, it's an odd number. Yes class, so if I ask you is the given statement true or false, what will you say? You will say it's a false sentence. Yes class, such sentences which are having some truth value, truth value means either it can be true or it can be false. Yes class, such sentences which is either true or false are called as closed sentences. Now came to know closed sentences. Now if I try to get another example in front of you, let the example be, he is my brother, who he? He can be Ramesh, yes, he can be Suresh or he can be anyone, any person and that simply says he is a variable, he can change its value, he can be anything, yes class. So if I ask you whether this sentence is true or false, you absolutely cannot decide about it. Yes, because you do not know whether that he is what. Yes class. Now, the next example, x plus 3 is equals to 7. What do you say about this sentence? What is that x here? Has any x value given to you here? No. Now, if I try to assume some values of x, let that x be 3. So according to that 3, 3 plus 3 gives you 6 not 7 and that simply means it will be nothing but a false sentence. Now class, if I try to change the value of x, if it can be 4, so for 4 plus 3, yes it's give you 7 and that simply means it is a true sentence now. That says for different values of x, you have different output, different truth value. That is, it can be true or it can be false. Yes class, so you cannot say the truth value if I ask you. Yes, that simply says x is a variable, x changes its value and according to that value, it can be true or it can be false. That simply says the value, that is, it can be true or false is not fixed. And therefore class, for such type of question, for such type of sentence, you cannot decide. And what is so similar between these two sentences class? These two sentences are nothing but true or false depending on the variable here. And such sentences are called as open sentences. Such sentences which is true or false on different values of x, on different values of he are nothing but called as open sentences. So now you have understood very well what do you mean by closed and open sentences. Now if I talk more about closed sentences, if I try to give you some more examples about closed sentences. For example, today is Tuesday. Now class for this example, if I ask you is it true or false? Yes, it's Tuesday today and that simply means it is a true sentence. Yes. Now, just a minute, wait, if I give you another example and that example is every square consists of four sides and now if I ask you, is it true or false, what will you say? Yeah, mathematically it's true, yes, it's a true sentence. So, this two are nothing but your closed sentences because they are having either truth value true or false, yes class, but I'll say that there's a difference between these two sentences and how we are going to see just now. For the first statement, for the first sentence, today is Tuesday. 
class what after some days after for example tomorrow it will be wednesday and if i ask you will that remain tuesday only no that simply means the truth value will change to false your true will change to false and that simply means your true or false value is not fixed for such sentence the true or false value is not fixed while for this sentence class if i ask you tomorrow what about this sentence if i ask you whether it's true or false what will you say it will remain true always whether i ask you tomorrow day after tomorrow it will always remain true and that simply says that it's true or false value is fixed so that's the difference you observe for this two sentences and such sentences where true or false value is fixed are simply called as logical statements yes class a very important definition to remember logical statement wherever the truth value is fixed that means a statement is true or false and will remain the same throughout it will not change then we call it to be a logical statement we are going to learn more about logical statements in the next modules till then thank you